Hey everyone, it's Kenji. We're gonna make some lo mein with oyster sauce and butter. Um, of all the recipes in my new book, um, The Walk, this is probably the simplest. Um, so this recipe is actually based on um, one that I saw from uh, Chris and Chris and Steph, uh, Steph Lee from Chinese Cooking Demystified. If you don't follow their channel, I'll put a link below. But um, they talk about uh, lo mein in China and um, how one of the simplest preparations is just lo mein with um, some greens boiled into it uh, and uh, uh, oyster sauce. Um, and I found it fascinating because, you know, most lo mein dishes or chow mein dishes in the U.S. are a lot more complicated than that. Um, and so this idea that you can just do this three ingredient thing, um, I found really fascinating. So, um, so I made that recipe a couple times um, and then um, I was remembering back to uh, um, the, if you, if you might have seen my video on um, uh, Vietnamese American San Francisco San Francisco garlic noodles um, and in that recipe um, you use oyster sauce butter fish sauce garlic a bunch of other ingredients but the combination of butter and oyster sauce um, I really enjoy and so when I was making this lo mein dish one time I thought oh what if I what if we combine butter and oyster sauce with the greens um, and it turns out it's really delicious so that's uh, the recipe that ended up in my book and that's what I'm gonna make right now super super quick I just got some boiling water some fresh noodles we're just going to cook them for a minute or so. And as they approach doneness, I'm going to add, these are some snow pea greens. Um, you could use anything really. You could use uh, romaine lettuce, you could use bok choy, you could use uh, iceberg lettuce, any, any kind of greens, green leafy things. You just throw them in there for the last like 30 seconds or so of cooking. All right, and today I've got oyster sauce um, and my wife is on a no dairy thing right now for the sake of our baby, so we're using Earth Balance, which work, works fine for this kind of stuff. All right, so those are basically done. Just gonna drain them. We can leave a little bit of that liquid in there. It'll help the, uh, the sauce emulsify. And then I'm gonna... A couple tablespoons of well, in this case, fake butter. A couple tablespoons of oyster sauce. This oyster sauce is in this container. Um, I just did an episode of um, Spilled Milk with uh, Molly Weisenberg and Matthew Amster Burton. Um, I think that episode will be out sometime in March of 2022. I don't know when this video is coming out, but it might already be out. Uh, but we did uh, an episode about oyster sauce and we tasted all these different oyster sauces um, blind. Uh, and then at the end I had four different containers of oyster sauces, um, some Thai ones, some Chinese ones, and I mixed them all together. So in that container that I just used is a mixture of Thai and Chinese oyster sauce of varying qualities. All right, and that, that's the whole dish. I'm gonna get a bowl. That's it. I don't know how long this took start to finish. Maybe, maybe five minutes. Maybe eight minutes if you include how long it takes the water to boil. But you can see, you know, just the same way that like, you know, buttered noodles with Parmesan um, gets this kind of creamy texture and, you know, the simplicity of sort of a salty, buttery condiment. Um, with quite a bit of that sort of umami flavor the you can think of oyster sauce as like as sort of like the parmesan in a in a spaghetti with butter and parmesan dish mm. all right that's it delicious kid friendly dog friendly Come here. Come on. Come on. There you go. Here you go, Shabu. And one for you. Ooh, nice long one for you. <laughs> All right. Guys, gals, non-binary pals, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.